General of Japan in Toronto. But before that happens, I'd like to introduce officially the Toronto Kimono Club. The Toronto Kimono Club was founded in 2010 by two local women, Erica Pai and Kisa Oster, both of whom spent several years in Japan where they developed a strong interest in kimono culture. The main goal of the Kimono Club is to provide a place for the people of the greater Toronto area who are interested in Japanese clothing, a place to discuss it with other people who share their interest, and to encourage people to wear the kimono they have at home as everyday fashion. On behalf of the Consulate General of Japan, the Toronto Kimono Club has been asked to present a Yukata Fashion Showcase, the Yukata being the most popular Japanese summer festival wear. So if you're wondering what is Japanese fashion, and if you're wondering what is a Yukata, I think that by this performance you will understand. So please join me in welcoming the Toronto Kimono Club's Yukata Fashion Show! Established in 1894. Yukatas that they make are cotton or cotton and hemp. And uh, sorry, this type of yukata comes from approximately 300 dollars. It has traditional, I mean, this kimono has traditional indigo blue color and Japanese apricot flowers on it. So I'm wearing hanhaba obi. This one, and this is Hakata Sakenjo. Um, this is one of well-known names for silk summer obi in Japan. Hakata is an area in Fukuoka Prefecture, western part of Japan. The area is known for fine woven fabric of obi. Sha is a kind of woven style that is very thin, so it's very sweet for, for summer. And since I saw kimono, I would like to explain how kimono is made. Please come up, ladies. And from now, they are showing the traditional kimono fabric. Oh, it's a little bit difficult, but it's about uh, 38 centimeters wide and 12 meters long. And when kimono are made, uh, kimono is made, this fabric is cut into only eight pieces. And all of those eight pieces sold into together as a kimono. And if kimono gets dirty, people just take a kimono into eight pieces again and wash it and then re-sew it again as a new kimono. Or if the fabric is not good enough for an adult kimono, people use, people make a new children's kimono or any other clothes as you like. So kimono is made, uh, made for reuse or remake and actually it's very very economical. Thank you. You can have a free chance to come for that's you. very reasonable price for about fifty dollars. Fifty Canadian dollars. And you can find it online if you would like to have own summer kimono. <laughs> we also have Nam who's in another men's kimono. As you can see, men's kimono dark in color, such as blue or gray. And they often have geometric shapes. Right. And so, uh, I'm going to 
and there's no extra fabric here, so it's only to his ankle. Well, the sleeves are a little different. Please show us your sleeves, everybody. So a women's yukata sleeve is open on the inside, but the men's are sewn shut, and they can use their sleeves as pockets. in a cute red yukata, which is covered in bunnies, or usagi in Japanese. And she has a, a purple and white stripe, hanhaba obi, half width obi, and she has the festival fan, an uchiwa type fan, tucked into the back of her obi, which is very common at Japanese festivals, because it frees up your hands so that you can eat or play games, and then you're able to take the fan out whenever you need to cool yourself. And we have Judy, and a lovely pale colored yukata with bright colored flowers for contrast against that background. She has some sakura, Japanese cherry, and some fuji, which is wisteria in English, on her yukata. And her matching obi also has the sakura cherry flowers. Obi tied around her for contrast. As you can see, it's also just a fun, uh, youthful look. These loose tied obis are called Heiko Obi and they're worn by the younger crowd. We also have Jaden in another youthful look. It's full of bright pink peonies, another common flower, and a matching pink Obi. We have Helen was rocking a strawberry themed look, which is a more unusual print for Yukata, as they are usually flowers. She's got a matching sack, um, sorry, a matching strawberry purse. She's ready for the festival. As you can see, they've got some uh, festival masks that they may have picked up at one of the booths. Sure, look. We have Sachino, Rin, Naomi, and Arisa. Oh, for, please come up. Oh, sorry. They want to see your outfits. So our first one here is you can see a mature, a more mature look for older women, maybe 25 or older. The turn around is a darker base color. They're not pink and bright purple, but a darker blue or an indigo or a black base with some more mature flowers. So the, the off-white and the yellow in this one. And we have some yellow and purple flowers in the next one. And the next two are very classic Japanese iconic dark indigo and white yukata, which is um, gaining popularity again as, as the old styles come back around, the more traditional looks. So we have um, this dressed up Arisa, a little more, um, a little more fun. She's got an additional sash there with her obi to make it a slightly more useful look. I'm just gonna come closer so that you can see the pattern, see some better pictures.
she sewed this one herself. She has spider chrysanthemum motif in the bright pink, so she's got an OV with cute little micro characters on it to make her outfit more fun. We also have Mackenzie, who is doing a very, very non-traditional outfit.
launching Al Murray and Nebucho Festival. That is a, a very big part of Al Murray culture. But a big part of our Canadian culture is the Canadian maple leaf. So next up we have a yukata that has the Canadian maple leaf print on it. And we paired it for contrast with a yukata that has the Japanese maple print on it. So I'm a little out of breath from hearing how I talk to Just to add some more color, just a different look to our outfit. So this, this yukata is a, a dark blue. It's got some nadeshko, which is, what is it? English. I forgot nadeshko in English, I apologize. Nadeshko mochi, these are uh, little flowers. I think people might call them pinks. Um, and they come in all sorts of colors. The yukata also has butterflies. Please come closer so we can show the audience. The butterflies are these white, pale shapes here. And they look like they are made with a special dyeing technique called shibori, which is a bunch of little tie-dyed knots that give a texture. But because this is yukata, this one's just imitating the look of shibori. It's just dyed that way. Just going to give you a closer look in case you needed to see the fake shibori look. Shino is wearing a uh, the blue and white yukata, which we've seen different versions of, but she's wearing it a bit differently to illustrate something for us. She's wearing it with a full width obi that we've uh, tied in a traditional drum knot. that you might see, and she's wearing it with the white tabby socks with her geisa. And the reason we did this is this is actually the kind of look that Maiko and Geisha wear in the summer when they're not going to their um, events when they are to entertain patrons, but going to their classes to practice their dancing and their singing. This is what they wear during the day. So if you ever see someone dressed like this online, usually they have a fancier hairdo than their uh, Maiko going about her business. her Zodi sandals, not the wooden clogs that the other girls are wearing. Thank you, Kato, which is fresh, feeling for the summer. It's also full of sakura blossoms, the cherry blossoms, in different oranges and pink. And the obi she's wearing as well matches the uh, yukata, but it's a special two-piece obi, which comes with a lot of yukata sets in Japan, which means you don't have to know how to tie a full three and a half meter length obi. It's just a waistband that you tie and then an obi bow that you drop in in the back. 
she has cute matching, um, a cute matching bag and her sandal straps match her outfit as well. She's wearing her own yukata, and this kind of yukata is very popular in Japan nowadays. And there are lots of flowers, and so as eyes kimono, as well as eyes kimono, yeah. her kimono, Chisato's yukata is also used year around as a casual kimono too. And also she's holding a nice basket. And this style of basket is very popular in Japan during the summer. If you can please go down to the mono fabric and holding lovely red bag. And, and now she's wearing men tsumugi kimono. Men means cotton and tsumugi is a style of woven. And usually tsumugi costs you more than the normal kimono. I think it was like uh, over 300 when I bought that. Actually, my mother bought the fabric and I made this one in DC, Canada. And she's wearing actually silk hanhaba obi, and which is also made in Hakata Prefecture. And the color is gray, so it's very suitable for summer, but to tell the truth, this is not for summer because it has two layers. Oh, and usually summer obi has only one layer, but it looks nice, so I just put it. I'm going to hear from the audience. We'd like to dress you up really quickly in this new mm. outfit, which is a mm. special print mm. by uh, the girl who made the Canadian mm. maple leaf. Mm. And this is a print often referred to as Africa. So the wa comes from Japanese spirit, and the Africa, so a combination of Japanese and African. Thank you. 